Most expensive shoes. All right, this should be fun. Another fashion video. I figured I should bring my uh, most expensive shoes. Philip Klein. I bought these a few years ago. I spent like two thousand dollars on these shoes. These are the most expensive shoes that I own. Let me, let me show you. I literally only wore them for a photo. <laughs> I've actually never worn them out outside of it. <laughs> but yeah, this is that right here. Philip Klein, I love Philip Klein, one of my favorite designers ever, super big fan, love these shoes. Whenever I decide to pull these out, which I haven't done yet, but whenever I do, it, I'm, it's gonna, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be, you know what I mean? So, um, <laughs> two other, two other shoes that I wish I could afford that I'm just gonna bring up before we start this video. The first one is the Kanye West Jasper, show them the Kanye West Jasper editor. Um, the pink one with the gray, yeah, that one, okay. Um, I love that shoe. That's probably my favorite shoe of all time. I'm going to buy that shoe one day. Not right now, because I can't afford it. But what, because it's like $20,000, $16,000, something like that for a brand new one, which is what I would want. Can't afford it. One day I'm gonna buy it though. Um, I really love that shoe. Kanye West, as you guys know, one of my, one of my favorite people, if not my favorite person ever. Huge Kanye West fan. That shoe symbolizes so much for me. Just an iconic collaboration moment in his. I just love it. I just love everything about it. I just love everything. So I'm, I'm going to get that. And then also, I would love to get the uh, the Nike SB Low Paris. It's not that crazy of a shoe, but I, I don't know. I, I like it. I like it. How much is it going for? Let me see. It's going for like $80,000. <laughs> so yeah, I will never have this shoe. <laughs> So this one, this is what I'll never have. Um, but I think it's a pretty cool shoe. Correct. Is it eighty thousand? Ah! Absolutely not. <laughs> but yeah, man, let's let's get the video started. Most expensive shoes. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the like button for me. Uh, I mean, what am I saying? If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you're old to the channel, go ahead and hit the like button for me. And let's get into it. <laughs> All right, first up, let's go ahead and get it started with the Nike Air Mag. Now there's two versions of this shoe that came out, one in 2011, where they dropped 1,500 pairs, and then one that came out in 2016. If you don't know what this shoe is from, it's from the movie Back to the Future, with, which I've never seen because I'm not that old. Like, I am old, but I'm not that old. So I've never seen that movie. <laughs> and some of you guys probably never seen that. But yeah, it's like an old, for old people, it's an old people movie. <laughs> but yeah, now he has some shoes. You can show me clip the shoes, the dude, he had other shoes in the movie. Yeah, did they? And then it's like a Back to Future Nike campaign. They went ahead and they, and they made some shoes. So that's sort of like the story behind it. But the 2016 version, there was only 80 nine pairs of that shoe made and those are the ones that have the uh, function where they automatically lace themselves up an absolutely amazing shoe that I would love to have it looks kind of goofy because it's such a big shoe but like it's cap so let's do it you know what I mean <laughs> um they they've been sold for as much as like forty thousand dollars um and there's only 89 pairs so I'm sure whoever has one a lot of the people that have them are just probably holding on to it and then probably in like 10 or 20 years it'll probably be worth even more um so yeah that's the night here man we've all seen that shoe so i figured we might as well start with that Woo! this next shoe is hard oh my gosh this is so hard all right so there's a collector jordan called a air jordan silver shoe Wait a damn minute. <laughs> what a damn That Michael Jordan's wife gave to him as a birthday present when he turned 32 years old. There's only 10 pair of these shoes in the world. Michael Jordan has hand signed every single pair. They're probably going for over $100,000 now. Um, the last reported was over 60,000, but that was a while ago, so I'm, I'm, I'm estimating here. But that shoe's insane. Oh my God, that shoe's insane. What else? I can't find any video. For, there's literally no video footage of it on YouTube because like no one has it. You know what I mean? It's not like a YouTube is gonna have this. But like, there it is. That's insane. I learned something new. That's, that, woo, that's tough. Boy, that's, woo, that's tough. That's tough, man. That's tough. While we're here, the Dior's also just recently came out. That's it. And that's a great, that's a great made shoe. I'm a huge fan of the Dior's. 
how much of the Dior is going for right now. I don't even I, I don't even keep up with stuff like this because there's really no reason for me to know. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so here's the price breakdown in my size. They're like 13K. So yeah, that's not ridiculously high compared to what we're going to look at, but it's still, I'm not copying it. <laughs> All right, we all know about Jordan's flu game, right? We all know how much how much you think those shoes sold for. Those shoes ended up selling for $105,000. Wait, 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 what the f***? Oh, hold on, what the f*** did you just say? For $105,000. And what's crazy is Jordan actually gave the shoes to a kid named Chandler Preston who always made sure he had like graham crackers and applesauce or something like that before games and he had gotten to know him and he just autographed them and gave the kid the shoes, right? And the kid put them in a safety deposit box for years. And then in like 2013, he decided to sell them, sold them for $105,000. Um, and at the time it was the most ever paid for in-game shoes. I wouldn't even, you you can't even, I wouldn't even wear something like that. Like I would just put that in like a glass box and then like put it in a room somewhere on display. Like that's, that's too legendary to even put on. <laughs> All right, let's take it up a notch. All right, Drake, the cap guy, cap lord. <laughs> All gold, Jordan 10, OVOs, one pair, made for Drake in collaboration with Jordan. They've never been sold, obviously, but based on the price of gold and the rarity of the shoes, if they were to sell right now, they would sell for at least $2 million. So that's pretty nuts. If he ever puts those on, that would be crazy. I don't even know what you would even wear something like that too. But yeah, all gold shoes. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I can't even find any video footage of it. Like there's, there's literally no, like all I got, all I got is pictures for you. Like I can't do it. <laughs> Doesn't matter where I go, I can never get away from. Custom made historical golden slippers that were created for the 18th century Indian ruler, Nazim Sikindar Ja. When he died, the slippers came with the throne and were handed down to the royal heir. The shoes resemble Aladdin slippers. Yeah, they do. Mm, Tom Ford. Mm, Nick Cannon from Wildin' Out. Commissioned jewelry designer Jason, 340 carat, 340 carats of round cut diamonds set on white gold. Water loafers on America's Got Down in 2014. That's great cap. That's phenomenal cap. That's in that's insane cap, honestly. Woo! Yeah, those are bad. Those are those are tough. Those are tough. That's tough, Nick! That's tough! Later. Alright, I don't know which one of these pictures is the most accurate for this shoe, guys. But basically, this dude named Harry Weinstein, or Weinstein, Winston, who was a famous jeweler, made these shoes for his son. And they're supposed to like mimic the Wizard of Oz ruby slippers. And he used 1400 rubies, 50 carats of diamonds, and they priced it over 3 million. So these are like some real life Ruby Wizard of Oz slippers <laughs> for three mil. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I wish again. I wish I could find video footage. I don't even know which one of these pictures is right, but I think this one. We're gonna. I think this one. Debbie Wingham was commissioned by an unnamed family to design these shoes. So who these shoes are for, the family didn't even want you to know. That's how you know they're balling for real. Like this isn't even like, we don't even want the public to know that we are getting these 15 million dollar shoes made. 15 mil, and we don't want to tell nobody. I paid a thousand for these, I'm ready to tell the world. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. 
But yeah, 15 mil, that's nuts. That's nuts. That's nuts. Um, um, they used to be the world's most expensive pair, but got dethroned. We'll get to that next. Um, 24 karat gold, a lot of diamonds, look like some pearls on there. Tough, 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 tough. That's good cap. That's good cap. There, ca oh, look how they got the diamonds on it. That's good cap. They got the diamond bust down at the bottom. That's great cap. You're a cappy. That's good cap. I like it. Then they got the blue diamond in the front. Oh, pink diamond in the, in the, is that a pink diamond in the uh, flower right there? Tough, 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 tough. All right, and the most expensive pair of shoes in the world is a girl's heel. <laughs> what? But we still have to talk about it. Either way, <laughs> um, $17 million passion diamond shoe. The world's most expensive pair of shoes were 17 mil were launched in 2018. The luxurious diamond shoe were made from diamonds of gold. It took over nine months to design and create. Uh, several hundred diamonds, two flawless diamonds, 15 carats each at the top. Those are the big big boys at the top. Um, that's tough. Let's let's see it. Unveiled in Dubai, of course. Dubai. Dubai, they be capping eight. Ooh, they be capping in Dubai. They be capping. That's cap. Yeah, that's good cap. That's great cap. That's phenomenal cap. Now, what do I mean good cap? That's that's not good cap. That's insane cap. That's that's tough. Tough, tough, tough. Mm, 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 mm. I damn never want to wear them and I'm not even a girl. We have a T. Oh, and this, this other website says they go for 24 million. So I don't know if it's 17, 24 is probably more than that at the, by this point. Um, we'll just, we'll just say 25, just nice 20, nice 25. This is interesting. The highest, um, selling Jordan of all time isn't even, a, isn't even a Jordan shoe. It's actually a Converse that he wore in the 1984 Olympics. That was held in the U.S. and they won that. And this is his highest selling shoe, 200 carry. So it's like an Olympic winning shoe as well. It's also the highest, the most expensive in-game shoe ever. Okay, so this dude has both of the different Jordan Tokyo drift shoes, and the one that's like the lighter yellow color costs twenty thousand dollars. And it's just like a sample shoe. So I don't really know how many there are, but there aren't that many. It's fire though. It's, I like the design. 20,000. Ah! I don't know. Okay, and those are the most expensive shoes in the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it. We learned a lot. Those, probably my favorite one, are those all silver Jordans. To me, those are crazy. Who those are crazy. Those are crazy. I really like those. Um, you guys can let me know your favorite shoe that, that, that you saw in this video, if there's any other ones um, that maybe I forgot or you know about. But as far as I know, I checked a lot of different sources. These, those are the, this is a pretty accurate list. Um, anyways, that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know what I mean? I had to have in my, have in my fashion bag work. I have in my, give me have in my, give me fashion, give me fashion. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you know I catch you guys in the next one. We going all we keeping the street going. I don't even know what day it is. I'm not even trying to think about that. We just gonna keep going. You know what I mean, we just gonna keep going. Just keep pushing every day. Just keep pushing. Alright, man. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>